Hi everyone, um, I'm going to be showing you today how to do a really cool text on PhotoFilter. You're going to go to File, New, and the width that I have mine on is 800 and the height is 400. You can do it at any size you want, I'm just going to keep it at that. Hit OK. And you're going to get a white box. Um, I'm going to change the background color to black. So you're going to go to the Fill Tool, which is right here. It's the third one down on the left hand side. And the color that I'm going to choose is black. Make sure it's the top part of the color that you want to choose for the background. Click inside the white box and to turn any color you want. Okay, next I'm going to go to the text icon. I'm going to put my size on 90. It's already set to what I want. Pick a font that you like. Um, I'm going to do Street Soul. You can go to dafont.com, D-A-F-O-N-T.com, and uh, they pretty much have any text that you want they have a lot um, so now what I'm gonna do is type in my name you can type in anything you want obviously hit transform selection and you're gonna see a flash around my name and then I'm gonna go to selection expand and I'm gonna put it on six you can mess around with the size a little bit if you want but I think six is a pretty good size hit OK now I'm gonna go to filter stylize progressive contour and it's already set on what I want which is the color yellow but if you don't want yellow you click on the color and you pick a color you want you can mess around you know make your own color but I'm just gonna stick with yellow and I'm gonna keep my width on five you could you know mess around with it do it however you like just make sure the outside option is checked um, and keep it on blur you can change the opacity if you want, but I'm going to keep it at 100%. Click preview, see if you like it. You know, if you don't like it, you can always go back and change the settings. But I like what I see, so I'm going to click OK. I'm going to right click inside where my name is, hit stroke and fill. I'm going to keep the color on white. Again, you could always choose your own color. I'm going to keep the width on one and make sure that this box right here is checked and make sure nothing else is checked. Hit OK. Now I'm going to go to the gradient icon, which is where the blue fades instead of white. Click that. Everything is set because I already, you know, messed around with this before. Um, you pick the colors that you want it to fade into. I'm going to do yellow and black. Again, you can choose any colors. The opacity I have on this is 20% and 10. Um, you know, you just mess around with it, see what you like, but I'm going to stick with the 20 and 10. Hit preview, see if you like it. I like that, so I'm going to hit OK. Now right click in the name. Hit a hide selection and go back to the text icon up here. Now, what I'm going to do, the color, I'm going to do white for my font, keep the name in there, and then you hit OK instead of transform selection this time. And I like that, so I'm going to keep that. Now, right click and hit validate text, and there you have it. it um, I think that looks pretty cool. If you don't, then uh, yeah, you can do whatever you like. Um, I'm going to give you my MySpace link. I don't know it off a of hand, so just give me one minute to get it. Um, I do photo edits. Anything you want, you could add me. Um, add me, see the work that I do, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll put my MySpace link up here for you, so you can add me. And that's pretty much it. You could add me on MySpace. I do anything with photo edits from on Photo Filter or Photoshop CS4. Again, add me. Look at the stuff that I do. If you like it, then you ask me for something. But please, no messages, just comments. And that's it. This is my first tutorial. I hope it helped. Um, thanks for watching.